Welcome to this 3D underwater photogrammetry tutorial using blue eyed drones. You will learn how to create scaled models like this out of your underwater assets. Begin with shooting some video in a grid pattern by going up and down and sideways with a drone. Connect to your drone's surface unit. For me, it's this one. So it just transfer video. I know already which file I want. Is this one? Um, so I'll transfer it. Keep the originals and close this. Visit the drone web server at one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one o one. Just press enter. Visit the Agasoft page. We want to find the same video as we just downloaded. So you just check the end. It's in December 13th and it's captured 9 20 2026. So let's find that video. Um, December 13th, 9 2026. This one. Choose a label for your image capture later on in Agisoft. The frame step is how many frames you skip in the video. If you've been moving fast, you will need to choose a lower. And if you've been moving slow, you can use higher. Go ahead and download this. Open Agisoft. Now let's take the next step and convert the video to still pictures. And you'll do that by pressing File, Import, Import Video. Find your video in the same uh, folder as you downloaded it to. Use the same naming as you did when you downloaded it from the home page. And for the frame step, do the same. I usually create a folder which is just called images. And I put them in there to give it a bit more tidy. And rename this chunk. You can skip the next step if you don't care about having a scaled model. So let's go from workspace to our reference. Open that reference file. It's this CSV file with the same name as the video file. Open. Make sure you have local coordinates. Our rotational angles are in your pitch and roll. The file is delimited by semicolon. So this row here is what Agisov wants. And this row here is from the file. So we have to make sure that those two rows are aligning and the same. And it's fairly easy. Just enable all of these. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Skip the first row. Awesome. Press OK. Right, so let's go back to our workspace and continue this. So we know how references to all the cameras. The next step is to create a point cloud by comparing all images to each other and finding corresponding points in two or multiple cameras. To do this, we'll make sure that the chunk, our pipe support chunk, is selected and go to Workflow, Align Photos. Use high accuracy and remove the key point limit by putting them to zero. The, the cameras are now aligned and you're met with this view of some weird blue squares. These represent each image that was extracted from the video. And these points down here are the actual model. So if we press our middle mouse wheel and drag up they will come into view do that that's our actual model now you can scroll to zoom out and press left button to get the model into view toggle show cameras i had like you to pay attention to these points here and the kind of points that are here 
These are called outliers and they need to be removed for getting a good model in the end. There are two ways of doing this. There is a manual. You could use a, the free selection tool, for example. Select by pressing your left mouse button, dragging around and press delete. The automatic version of doing this is to use the gradual selection tool in Agisoft. Pick what metric you want to use. Pick, for example, 10% of the points by sliding the threshold. Press OK to select. Press Delete to remove. Now go ahead and re-optimize your cameras. So go into Tools, Optimize Cameras. Select all camera parameters. Press OK. Workflow, Build Mesh. We use the Sparse Cloud and no limits for the face count by typing zero. Under advanced, I leave it as defaults. This step is fairly quick. And we now have a model with a correct geometry, but it's kind of underwhelming in what you can see. The trick to be able to see more in our model is to build a texture and look at the texture, but use the model for measuring and the overall geometry. So to build a texture, you go to Workflow, Build Texture. We want to do a diffuse map using our images that we just aligned. Generic, Mosaic. I find that 4K, one single 4K image is usually sufficient. You could go lower for lower memory usage. Under Advanced, Enable Hole Filling and Enable Ghost Filter. Press OK. The model is now done. And you can see that now with the texture on, we have a lot more detail to work with. And because we use the reference files from the drone, we know at what depth we are, and we also know what size things are. So if we go to this ruler tool here, we can pick a point. So for example, maybe we wonder at what depth is the pipe at? And we can tell that uh, the pipe is at almost 19 meters depth. We can press two points and take a measurement. So maybe we are interested in the distance between here and here. And that turns out to be 46.7 centimeters. The model can now be exported or uploaded to a cloud service. Thank you and have a good day.